Are electric vehicles really the future? Some say yes, but Stalin cheap CEO begs to differ. And now, he's unleashed something that will change the game forever. Introducing Stalin Cheap's revolutionary compressed air engine. This groundbreaking technology will literally destroy all EV makers. The entire auto industry is in shock and terror. With fuel efficiency of 120 miles per gallon and nearly 99% reduction in emissions, combustion cars are back on top. Join me on this journey to discover why this brand new compressed air engine is far more likely to spell the end of EVs than you would have thought. When is it going to be released? How much will it cost? What is it that the politicians don't want you to know about EVs? I'm going to be answering all those questions right now. Stellantis and Jeep are set to introduce a groundbreaking hybrid air power train. Their 2-liter compressed air engine integrates gasoline and compressed air to achieve exceptional fuel efficiency. The system comprises a compressed air tank, a low-pressure tank, and a hydraulic system, all operating synergistically to deliver optimal performance. Stellantis, in its relentless pursuit of innovation, has been developing a new range of engines that could potentially outperform EVs, but that's not all. These engines are coupled with a revolutionary new transmission that achieves a mileage of nearly 55 miles per gallon. And if you find that impressive, just wait until you hear about the carbon dioxide emission reductions. Jeep, for instance, has managed to reduce its average weighted carbon dioxide emissions to nearly 95% of current internal combustion cars. This journey began in 2014 with the introduction of the first compressed air engines in the company with Stellantis PU-0308. The efficiency of this system is further enhanced by reduced internal friction and the use of lockup clutch converters to prevent any slippage. The improvements in carbon dioxide emissions across various models are nothing short of astounding. Pojo's unique blend of additive-infused particulate filter and selective catalytic reduction is what really works its magic. With this combination, 99.9% .9 of particles are removed and emissions are reduced by up to 90%. However, how does this magic actually occur? Consider the modern battery electric hybrid cars, such as the Toyota Prius, which have such high fuel economy and low emissions. Now picture using compressed air in place of those bulky batteries. Yes, the hybrid air technology found in Jeeps stores energy in compressed air. Jeeps hybrid air technology is a hydraulic pump motor unit, which also stores energy from the internal combustion engine during braking and deceleration. It's an engineering symphony of perfection. The hybrid air system is incredibly intelligent. Three modes are available, combined, gas only, and air only. Depending on how you drive, an electronic management system automatically switches between modes. If you're cruising on the highway, the system will solely rely on the internal combustion engine. However, if you're navigating city streets and your speed drops below 45 miles per hour, it seamlessly switches to air power. The benefits are massive for city driving. Jeep claims that the hybrid air system can slash fuel consumption by a whopping 50%, and it doesn't stop there. Vehicles equipped with this system can see their range skyrocket by 90% compared to conventional engines of the same power rating. We also have some exclusive details about the launch of this engine, so stay with us for a couple more minutes. Furthermore, in city conditions, hybrid air-powered vehicles can operate on air power alone for a staggering 60 to 80 percent of the time. PSA is currently testing this prototype and has quoted an aimed combined fuel efficiency of 120 miles per gallon. But what about the cost? And you may be wondering why the CEO of Jeep is against devs. All these answers are in the next part of this video. Please watch now, link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.